What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to the beatmajors.net. So uh, today I have a, a quick little tip or a trick for you guys just to kind of show you um, how to basically work in either double time or single time. You know, some producers like me, I like to use double time because FL doesn't have um, a quote unquote um, time signature. So since we can't change our time signature or anything like that, I like to work in double time so that I don't have to worry about um, slow tempos or slow times or long beats and things like that. So I'm just going to show you a trick for you guys out there that like to work in slow time, you know, in a single time, I should say. Um, and, you know, but you you want the, the pace of a, of a double time beat. I'm going to kind of show you how to change your time signature settings in FL, which is kind of confusing to everybody. So let me go ahead and get into it. So. Right here we have a beat that's at 140, and we all know that single time, basically 140 cut in half is 70. So I'm not too keen on like um, time signatures and things like that, so I don't really know too much about them, but I want to show you how you can change them for the people that are that do know about time signatures and how you can um, make the time signature flow for you. So you already know I'm um, on the rack here on a step sequencer when you expand it. If you have, I think it's in, tw in 11 also, and... Uh, 10 I'm not for sure I don't remember but in 12 you already know that when you you know shorten this up this is basically how many beats um, are in your your pattern here so here we have what that would be about two beats right there um, and when you extend it out you get more beats um, so when you're playing the beat um, you can go into your options you can go into your project um, general settings and right here um, I'm sorry I said beats here I should have said steps the beats are the, the, the basically the time signature for FL. So right here, it would seem like that's a 4-4 four, four time, but really that's not 4-4. Four, four. Um, FL Studio, it starts off in 4-4 four, four time, but it doesn't use time signatures. Like I said, it uses beats and, um, and bars. So basically, when you change this 4, um, we're at a double time. So as you can see, like I said, it starts in 4-4. Four, four. So when you change this this bar right here if you were in, if you were to, to go down if you were in a higher tempo um you would change this down to a two so i'm going to show you how this affects your temp your uh time signature so what's going to happen is when i change this number here my uh my boxes in the background here my grid is going to change to flow with this 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 time uh right here these beats per bar so i'm going to play the beat and then I just kind of want you to see how I uh, watch how I change the temp or the uh, the, the time signature um, here. So. So you see how when I was playing the beat, how the the grid basically changed here when I change this back to a four. It goes so that this whole loop is basically, you know, pretty much a four, a uh, four bar loop or one bar loop. I'm sorry. And or four bar. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got this all mixed up. But anyway, you kind of get un understand what I'm saying here. This is how it starts off. So when you change it, it changes, you know, with you changing that, changing it down. So now this is becomes a one bar um, loop here. So when I change my tempo down to 70, which is half of that 140. Um, it asked me if I want to restretch it. Yes, I restretch it. Now, this beat will flow with the with the seventy time signature, the t tempo, um, without affecting anything. So now, when I play it at seventy, And then if I want to go back or revert back to the, you know, the old tempo or if you're if you like being at 70 and you want to stay at 70, but you want it to be, you know, um, your double time, then you would just change this. Um, like I said, it starts at starts off at four. So you can go down. You, if you're starting at 70, you probably want to go up um, to maybe like a six or something like that. If you can um, let's see here. So now it, it basically you see how it kind of threw it off a little bit here. Um, because you just basically changed your time signature. That's a totally different time. So basically your your four four, when we set it at four, that's gonna be four four. 
When we set it at three, that's a three, four time signature. When we set this at six, at six, and then we go down two beats, that's a three eighth time signature. And if you go up to 13, that's a 13 eight um, time signature. But like I said, I'm not too, I'm not a professional at the time signature. So this is something that you will have to mess with. And if you're someone that actually knows time signatures, this will definitely help you. But that that's basically how you change the time signature in FL Studio um, to get it to match your tempo or your time signature that you're trying to, um, you know, go with. So if a friend or someone sends you a beat and it's in a higher tempo, but you like to work in a slower tempo, you just go here. Um, if they're at 140, like I said, you, you know, divide it in half, go down to the half and then turn your number down to two. And it'll basically be in flow with, you know, your uh, slower tempo. So. Again, I hope this helps you guys. I hope this brought some value to you guys. Um, definitely leave comments below if you have any questions. Um, if you guys have any ideas for tutorials or any things that you guys are trying to learn mixing-wise, definitely leave those down below as well. Any technical uh, tutorials, leave those down in the comments. Make sure you like, subscribe, um, and hit that bell button after you subscribe. And until next time, guys, I'll holla. Peace.